Alright, hello, hello, you beautiful Bosa boys and girls. I am uh, happy to talk to you again today. Uh, we've got a spread, a new spread idea for you that I think you're going to really be interested in because it uh, has the best of both worlds. We haven't covered it yet, I haven't gone through it with you, but it's the topic of unbalanced spreads. So, what I've covered mostly right now to this point is balanced spreads where the number of contracts you go long is the same as the number of contracts you are going short. And that works great for pairs that are not as tightly correlated because uh, you don't want to favor one over another too much. That actually doesn't help your hedge. You're actually becoming a little bit more uh, unbalanced. So you typically want to run those as one to one. So, But when you find two instruments that are highly correlated, maybe almost too correlated, you don't get a, pro a profit opportunity. Like take a look at this one. So we've got two crude instruments here. One of them is the January, which is the near month. One of them is February, which is the next month out. Now, if you just traded those, if you put those on a chart at a one to one ratio, you're going to get a very tight pattern. You're going to get a horizontal chart. Uh, it doesn't trend. It's very tight one to another. I mean, there might be some movement if you get a massive news event and you can definitely trade those uh, correctly. It's just not going to be as frequent. So these 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 calendar spreads are very correlated, um, and you could scalp them. You can take a look at that uh, on your own. But on a daily basis, you might want to consider this an unbalanced spread. So in this situation, what I did is I've gone plus two on the January, minus three on February. So I'm giving a little bit more weight, a little bit more uh, equity value to the February contract three of those contracts, uh, three of those instruments versus two contracts on the January. Now you can reverse these numbers if you like. I actually have them here for this purpose, two and three, because this spread has been going upwards lately, <clears throat> as shown by my spread history line. So historically we see that this, uh, this spread bottoms out about 930 and from 930 on to the end of the day, historically we have been going up, up, up. I like to buy, this is, you know, sometimes uh, selling, you know, reversing that logic is, is great for uh, many purposes, but it's so much easier to always look at a buy situation. That's another beautiful thing about a spread, is that if you reverse the order of your instruments, the long versus the short instrument, you just reverse the direction of the, uh, of the chart. So you can tailor it to, to what your preference is. So I'm looking at buy situations, it just clicks better with my mind. Um, and this is what I looked at today, and actually yesterday too was a good trade, and the day before was an excellent trade. Like I said, this uh, spread has been shooting up lately. And that's because as, as crude tanks, crude has been going down, down, down lately, you can see from today's chart. Um, the, uh, uh, when February drops, you're, you're short three of those contracts and you're long two of the January. So when February drops, even if it drops at the same rate as January, you've got three contracts there versus two in January. So your spread value is gonna go up, 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 and that's what this is reflecting. Here we go, right at about nine o'clock, I saw the uh, trend reversing. I saw also my latest exhaustion triangle had just been broken. I saw that we were oversold we were below these green levels, which is our volatility bands. Had a good profit opportunity going toward the equilibrium line, this yellow line. Has uh, about two, four, six hundred dollars in movement from my proposed entry to the equilibrium line. Now, if you take a look at the grid, the grid is listed here as two hundred dollars. So every grid area here, every grid uh, block is a two hundred dollar equity move. So from this red line, to this purple line right here, that's a $200 move. Um, <clears throat> so, two, four, six. So, you had a good chance of, of hitting that. I uh, 
I like the trade. It had a good pop above this uh, fast moving average. Went long. You can see I went long right at this point. I think it was 9, what was it, 9.05 in the morning. And we quickly had some good, some good movement. Started getting some of our cycle dots coming in. Now the cycle dots, this magenta dots and the green dots down here, are based on a kind of a tweaked version of the CCI uh, in the indicator. Um, and I think I've got it on a seven period. So, you know, these cycle indicators are all lagging. Um, they might work. At times they work, at times they don't. For instance, here's one instance where I didn't see any movement. Here was one where we saw a little bottom and maybe a little bit push up. It didn't. It, it failed ultimately. Here we saw a very minor push up. Here we saw a little bit more of a bottom and eventually that did hold. So the cycle dots are good when they're right on, but they're not authoritative as I see it. But what I am noticing is the second set is a good exhaustion point. And that's actually what we saw here. The first set had a little bit of a reaction, but the second set actually did bring a big, uh, bigger move down, and that's what actually got me out on this trade. So, how did that play out? I went long at this level, and I held on. I wanted to get target to, uh, since I saw a big spread history prediction, I was holding on for a little bit bigger move, and I put my, my level in 200, two, two blocks above the... Uh, equilibrium level you can see that is my red line right here that's where I targeted the exit and you know what it actually ticked me over so I actually got uh, the spread did print value above that level however it just did not get filled so I wasn't exited at that price I think that was about a uh, $900 uh, target there the uh, the market reversed and it actually went down right away. The cycle dots uh, gave me a little bit of a heads up. I didn't take it, but I did get uh, stopped out, and you can see my exit here at that level. I was happy. I was up about three hundred dollars on that trade, and uh, it worked out fine for me. But take a look at this. So this spread uh, bottomed out right at that level, and uh, this would have been a good opportunity to buy. I like it when we bounce above the equilibrium line. We, we go above it and we come back to it. There's a little hole right here that shows a little bit of a clearance you can see right here. This is, I like to call it a bounce trade off the equilibrium line. I would have gone long right at that point uh, when we hit. So right at there is when uh, a buy form uh, comes. Now if you trade, most of my trades are overbought, oversold. So this is an oversold trade, worked out well. This is not, this is a trend trade and you're looking for that trend to continue. Um, not one of my favorites, but it's worth looking at, uh, especially in, in a strong trending market like this, trend, uh, crude might be a good, a good situation to do a trend trade. So I look for buying above the uh, equilibrium line on this kind of uh, one, two, three top and uh, this one would have worked out well. But in any situation, I was happy with the, uh, with the money I got. So hey, I wanted to go over this with you, uh, show you some of the ideas that are available to spread traders. You don't need to be stuck in a one-to-one -one, uh, balance spread. Take a look at varying them a little bit. Now you do have to consider this is five contracts now, so we're not just trading two, which is a plus one, minus one. Uh, and you have to worry about your margin if that's an issue. Uh, but with spreads now, you might be able to negotiate with your broker to get a, uh, a margin uh, credit. So you might not need to put up as much margin. Another thing to think about is most uh, funded account uh, evaluations that you're looking at could give you plenty of room to trade uh, five crudes. Uh, I'm trading a 250K evaluation account here and uh, I can go up to, I think it's 14 contracts. So I don't have any, any problems. So I traded five here with this trade and uh, it worked out well. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, I really appreciate you. If you have any questions, uh, contact me. My email will come up here in the description or at the end of this video. And uh, if you want to talk about funding, getting a funded account, uh, we do have two partners here, Apex and EarnMax. This is an EarnMax account I'm training. They seem to be pretty good. I'm working with them. 
uh, I do have an affiliate relationship with them and the affiliate link is below. Uh, you guys are awesome. I wish you all the best in your trading. If you have any questions, email me. Let's sit down and take a look at some charts. All right, God bless you all and have a great day. Thank you.